A new trick Japanese Splatoon players have found for the Clothi wave on spawning grounds has sparked a lot of discussions around the special wave and also led some players to believe this is the new meta way to deal with them since it looks so safe. The method in question is going to this little protruding bar on the ramp section of spawning grounds and apparently, if your team is standing there, the glowflies are simply unable to get there and they get stuck in the sides that makes it a completely safe location to be. It's actually a pretty cool trick considering how safe it is, but personally I think it has a very limited use and I would probably only use it if I am the only player left with the quota fulfilled and we should talk about why this isn't really a meta strategy or anything like that. The hardest waves in general for freelance salmon run are grillers and glowfly waves, but not because they are so incredibly hard like most would think, but because they are the only waves in fact where skill alone is not enough anymore to carry you. You need team coordination and game knowledge, which we have the least of in freelance coincidentally. This is especially visible during glowfly wave as the group starts to panic. Running around the stage trying to get away from the salmonists that will inevitably catch you anyway due to their faster speed, picking off members of the team one by one, resulting in a wrap. One of the common solutions and also something I advocate for is the wall strategy. The wall strategy is when the player who is marked as the target decides to climb on a wall and stay there, luring the hordes under them without being in any major danger, allowing the team to shoot freely and gather eggs as they can. The common misconception of the wall strategy is that it's the best thing to do, which is not true. It's actually pretty inefficient and dangerous as the horde will keep coming, your team is one man short, so you're lacking serious firepower, especially depending on the weapon missing. And it's also incredibly hard to pick up the eggs if you do this since they're all over the place there. Instead, the best strategy that is mostly being used for this wave is staying near the basket as a team and staying as static as you possibly can, not moving at all to make sure you're not altering the path of the horde if you're targeted and keep shooting in the direction they are coming from. It is actually relatively easy and straightforward to do this Yet it's one of the hardest things for a freelance group as it requires trust in your coworkers, but also zero hesitation. There is no time to think if there is a better way to do it or check if they are still coming. You have to keep shooting without pause as they come because a single break can allow them to get through your fire. But if the team manages to do this, you will have an easy time to instantly deposit your golden eggs as you are right next to the basket and you will also comfortably handle the wave, especially if you have weapons such as the dynamo roller or split brella in front blocking the horde. But then why is the wall strategy good and why do I still recommend using it? Exactly because of what I mentioned that in freelance most players panic and lose their composure, resulting the whole team running everywhere and not knowing what to do. Even if you won't end up using the wall strategy for the whole run, which I don't recommend anyway, Sticking to the wall just for a few seconds or so allows your team to take a couple of deep breaths, get their ink together, get in position or collect eggs, whatever it is they need. But in summary, it gives everyone time and breathing room to proceed. So overall, I don't recommend messing with this new trick you've seen, you will most likely just make things harder for your team. Instead, try to play together, coordinated, and if you see your team falling apart, get on a wall and let everyone regenerate. I will eventually make a full guide for glowflies, but until then, I hope this helps you all. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.